Okay, everybody, uh, welcome to a little video. I know I've been really uploaded for real in a while. Uh, I'm busy playing some rats, running school, stuff like that. So, uh, today I'm just gonna give you a little fun review. I actually got it in year three if you want to see the proof here. One second, let me just grab this. Here it is, there's my name, Thunder Punch 56. Thorn, here it is, so. Uh, these are the ballistics you can have on it. Uh, does kinetic damage, of course. It has final round, and then snapshot, send it, increased range and accuracy, has less ammo, and perfect balance, which I'm not really the mo biggest fan of. And then mark the devourer round. Rounds pierce targets and cause wing damage over time, just like your one thorn. <coughs> Don't mind that mod disabled. As nine shots, uh, pretty okay impact. But, uh, I think really the biggest selling point is that. Oh crap! Boom. It basically insta kills them. Now I believe vandals will require one more shot. Yeah. Um, it's a really good weapon now. What's so unique about it is, of course, the lingering damage part. Um, that's not really it though, because. What it can also do is, if I had my HUD on, you'd see that it would slow, it would allow the enemy to, like, have their shield go back up. I mean, I shot him, I would shoot the captain once, and then his shield would go down and it wouldn't be able to reheal as fast, which is very helpful. And sometimes, I believe very rarely, sometimes you'll um, get a shot that, like, look at that. I, I shot through the Vandal, which the Acolytes are easy to kill. I shot through the Vandal into one of the um, acolytes, as you can see, and that instantly killed him. Right. Well, there's nobody else around, which is really one of the key selling points, in my opinion, because it's actually really amazing. Let me try again. It's going to be impossible now. Come on, seriously. Okay, well, screw it. Oh, that did it. So, it's kind of a more powerful weapon. Okay then. Um, now, the downsides are, of course, it's range. It's range, it's not the best. But it's stability. Um, firing it continually will make it kick a lot. The reload's okay. The impact's pretty okay, I mean, compared to all um, the auto rifles I have for some reason. And then its rate of fire is okay. Um, to rend one's enemies, to see them not as equals but objects, hollow of the spirit and meaning. Thirteenth understanding, seventh book of sorrow. Uh, just a little lore, this gun was made by Dread Gignor uh, himself, which is, there's also another piece of armor um, too. Um, there's a weapon that's the last word, yours not mine, um, Renegade. Hunter Renegade Shin or something to Dragon Yor, which I believe Dragon Yor killed um, inside that conversation. And then Dragon Yor's Rose, Rose Thorn, you know. Uh, the shots are not the same as a normal hand cannon. As you can see, that's what it shoots. Um, so, really nice. As you can see, it, it literally goes through items. Like, you can see a little, po little poking out right there. So, it's a really nice weapon. Uh, how to get it? Um, I don't know exactly, but how I got it was I handed in my silver, which, um, my silver iron bounty, uh, rather iron bounty, uh, which you get from Shiro. Um, after that, I believe you do the Wretched Eye. I don't remember exactly. You do a strike of some kind, and then after that, you get um, about 200 kills, I'd say, inside Crucible, which uh, can be quite a lot um, with void weapons. Now, not in year one, I believe, when you did it, the quest, um, you couldn't. Like um, when you died, it took away progress, I believe. Excuse me. Um, took away progress, I believe. And this time it doesn't. It's percentage, and about every two to three kills, 
it'll get 1%. So I don't know how much exactly I never counted. You can probably find out somewhere. Somebody probably counted before. After that, five motes of light, I believe. Um, and then you have to use a skeleton key um, and the uh, um, Hive Abomination Highest, which is Fulgaroth Year 3, essentially. And that can go multiple ways. And then you use the skeleton key and the chest will give you Thorn. Uh, you don't have to go to Eris or anything, which Eris gives you the bounty, by the way. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, something that I saw whilst, whilst um, trying to get the thorn was Shiro would constantly be saying, hey, you have a bounty, do it, until I finally got thorn. Uh, so that seems to be a glitch inside the system. Um, I don't know if Bungie's getting on top of that. Uh, I showed them. Uh, I told them that was while I was getting thorn. Um, and all that, so, yeah, uh, real nice weapon, uh, I'd rate it, uh, 8. Um, it's really good inside the raid at the first boss, um, Axis, when, um, all the adds are coming, because you can just shoot a dragon once or twice, depending on where, and boom, they die, you know. That's the job, and the final round is also, also very nice, because, um, yeah, now one downside, another downside quickly, is that it does not cause lingering damage to these guys. As you can see, they do not turn the yellow, lingering damage shows, so, yeah. Uh, that's basically it then.